Hey y'all, N4H&H here, and this is going to be another installment in the FT65, in this case R series. And uh, if you may recall in the unboxing video, I'm going to be giving the radio away. Well, where is the radio? Let me let me minimize myself here. And uh, I'm going to make these uh, short and to the point uh, videos about this radio because really the manual is 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 not bad. It's quite well written. There are two manuals. I wanted to warn you about that. There's the regular operating manual, and then there's something called the advanced manual. And you'll want to get your hands on both of them. They can both be downloaded from yesu.com. All right, with no further ado, let me turn this radio on. The last video, I, I put it on charge. Now, to be honest with you, that's been a long time ago. As a matter of fact, there's a reason for that. Um, I have one. Here's mine. I've got the, uh, I've got the case on it little protective cover but i programmed mine like two years ago three years ago and so it's been a while i don't recall and the thing is this radio has a bad rap about being difficult to program so it's been a long long time since i programmed mine um but like i said as i recall the manual is pretty well written so here's what my t my my purpose is i'm going to try to do this from memory and just to see you know, how difficult it is to program. Uh, I'll just show you this. There's a button right here on the side, on the bottom. Not that one. That one defeats squelch. But this one on the bottom is like a function key. And we'll be using it a lot as we program. So all I'm going to do in this initial video here, or say, well, video number two, but after the unboxing, all I'm going to do is uh, program one repeater frequency in it just to show you uh, how easy it is to do. And again, I'm going to go off memory just so we can see, is it really difficult? All right, here we go. I'm going to turn it on. You're looking at radio cam. And so there's the, you see, and by the way, this is great here. Let me tell you why. Here, uh, when, when I turn it on, you're going to hear a click. And we take that for granted, but a lot of the radios have a soft on, okay? So the battery is always being drained because it's powering a part of the, um, circuit that is looking for the soft on to be pressed. Okay. You've probably seen radios like that. Um, you know, they just have to have power all the time. So they put a slow drain on the battery and this is a lithium ion battery. It lasts a long time. This radio, man, it just, it'll, <laughs> it'll last for days on a battery with, you know, with moderate use. Um, but this one, listen, when I turn it on, I hope you heard that. Now, when it uh, let me do that again so you can see. I'll put it up here to the mic. Okay, so that is a definite on-off switch. And while that may seem, uh, let me use this word, old-timey, it's actually great for the battery because when this thing is off, it's really off. The battery is not being drained by some circuit that's waiting for a soft start button, uh, you know, a soft on, you know, like where you long press something um, or just tap it. All right, so here we go. When it first powers up, what I want you to see, let me get the screen over here. It's going to tell you who it is, and it's going to tell you the full charge voltage right now because it's, I took it off charge, and it's 8.2 volts. That's what you should see. Now, the first thing I'm going to do so you can see what I'm doing is I'm going to go into the menu and turn on the lamp. So uh, what you do, let me get it right here. I'm using my thumb. Of course, that lights it up. And then you use the up and down arrows, right? And I'm going to go down. Yeah, it's got this little courtesy beep. And there it's coming right there, lamp. Now, again, <clears throat> to, to adjust the lamp, I just tap that function key again, the same button that got me into that setup menu, as Jesu calls it. And now here are my options. Five second key, off, continuous. Okay, I'm going to go this direction. After five seconds, it times out. That's what it was doing. 10 seconds timeout, 30 seconds timeout. But now for the purpose of the videos, I'm going to put it on continuous. So that's what the cont is. And it's long press to get out and save that. And then you can either long press or hit push to talk to get out of the setup menu. 
That's it. Now, when this radio wakes up, it'll be on 144 uh, megahertz even. That's just a good dead giveaway that this radio is, you know, fresh out of the box. Before I go any further, I want to show you one other thing. This orange button on top. I'm going to I'm going to uh, press it. It turns on a light, little just a convenience light. Isn't that slick? Okay. So now, how do we program a frequency? Right now it's on 144. Now let me show you something. There's a band button here. Let me let me see if I can get my both hands here. So the band button if you just tap it, it'll cycle through the various bands. You can see there you've got a wide, that's wide FM. Um, there's two meters and there's 70 centimeters. And I'm going to program in a 70 centimeter uh, frequency, uh, rep a repeater that is about it's 38 miles from me. So uh, you can, now, right now what we're in what's called VFO mode, and I'm just going to tap um you can use the up down arrows, but it'll be quicker for me to do four, four, three, one, zero, zero. And look at this. It automatically chose a plus offset. Now I'm going to go back into the menu. Long press that function key. And I want to look for tone where you, you're going to, we're going to be, need to be able to set a, um, a, a CTCSS tone. You got two things to do. You got to turn it, turn that feature on, and you got to set the frequency. And uh, let's see, let's get in here. Let me show you this one. See that ARS? That automatic repeated shift is on. That's what how the radio knew to use a plus offset for 430. You can turn that off. All right, but let me get back into scrolling through the menu. squelch type okay i'm going to go in there it's off t transmit tone not receive tone and this can do split tone for those of you who are wondering uh, there's tone coded squelch reverse tone the manual goes through all of those but most repeaters you just need t tone all right so i'm going to long press that and lock it in and now i need to set the frequency for the tone and you can hold this down and go up quickly because i believe I, I always thought this was interesting that Yesu chose in their infinite wisdom to put these far apart you turn on the tone there but you set the yeah there it is ctcss eight way up here at eight um so i'm gonna tap and see this is where you can set your transmit and receive tone separately actually the receive tone is 100 and that's the one i needed so i don't have to do anything um I just want I just had to turn on that feature but if you needed to change it you go into menu 8 CTCSS but you know let's go down here let me show you where I was again for the squelch type yeah all the way down at 29 you would have thought that they would have put the tone right next to 29 I don't know what they were thinking or not thinking when they put together the menu but okay so we've got that uh, frequency set and I'm just going to get out of the menu long press and um, let me see if I can hit the repeater S9 N4 HNH testing N4 HNH clear that's 38 miles away well, that's how you program a frequency in. In the next video, I'll show you how to add that frequency to uh, to the menu or the memories, I should say. Turn off that lamp. It's radio cam has a lamp on it, and it turned on. Um, but so that's how easy it is to put a frequency in. Just remember from this video what I wanted you to get, because I'm not going to overload you with too much per video. What I wanted you to get from this was this is a function button, and other than bringing this other hand over here to, to punch this arrow up and down and change the band, everything was done through here. You just long press, and you're in setup. It'll go back to wherever you were last. And then you just scroll up and down to find... Look, I mean, there's a lot of different things in there. Don't get too worried and overwhelmed with all that. There's a lot of that that's just options that you may or may not ever need. 
I'll give an honorable mention right here, wide and narrow. So if you're in a situation where you're getting a lot of interference, here's a bonus on this video. You're getting a lot of interference, try switching from wide to narrow. That may help a little bit because uh, this is an SDR. That's a, another one of the reasons that the battery lasts as long as it does. It is a software-defined radio. I will say this. It is much better filtered than other software-defined radio brands that are out there that are very popular. And in fact, this doesn't cost but, I don't know, a little bit more than double some of those import uh, SDR HTs. And it's just far superior. Um, you know, it's just no no question. It's much better filtering, though it is an SDR. And again, what's that mean? Well, the software-defined radios typically are going to be a little more susceptible to RF interference, like if you're around a tower site or in a metro area like downtown. If you're here, it'd be downtown Atlanta. Um, but that's where that wide and narrow might come in. So those are a little bonus for this video. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if I hope you're uh, going to consider maybe um, trying to win this radio. What I'm going to do, to be honest, okay, so I've got this channel would not stay operational uh, from just YouTube ads. There's not, there's not enough. It's pathetic. So I have a team behind me that, that donate each month through uh, something called Patreon. And uh, the ones who have been doing it for a year or two or more are making these videos possible. Uh, the ones that join just for, you know, on a monthly basis and maybe stay two or three months, I mean, they're helping offset the cost of some videos that are already out there. But the ones that are uh, what I call long haulers, they support the channel for quite a while. You'll see, you'll see a list of some here at the end of this video. They help me continue to, to make the video content that's out there on, on YouTube. And, of course, the, there's some custom or exclusive content available for the uh, members of the Patreon support team. Now, some of the content's only available for those who have supported the channel for a year or more or uh, subscribe annually. But that's the reason I can make these videos and the reason I'll be able to give away this radio. I'll do a drawing, and it will uh, be given away to uh, one of the VIP, which I call S9 members, or an executive member, which I call S7. So if you go to patreon.com slash n 4 h and and look into joining that team, you'll see that there are three levels. And the uh, S7 level, I call, well, there's S5 associate, S7 executive, and S9 VIP. I'll be drawing from that S7 and S9 group uh, to give away this radio. The S9 folks... They also have access to me for a personal consultation via Zoom or a phone call. And another thing, too, that I think uh, is misunderstood, Patreon, a lot of the guys just use it as a way for you to donate. Thank you. Appreciate your videos. Wanted to give you some money. But I'll go ahead and, and put extra content in there. And right now there are over 90 posts in there. Most of those posts are available for everyone. And there's some that are available only for the S7 uh, executives and S9 VIPs, and then there is some content that is only available for the S9 VIPs. But there are over 90 posts in there that include technical discussions, um, inside tips and tricks. Uh, early, they get they get a lot of content early that might eventually make it out to the public. And some of it does, some of it doesn't. It may be months. Um, but like when the FT710 came out, they got some advanced info about that. So because of that, those folks, uh, you know, I try to do extra for them because without them, you wouldn't be watching this video and I wouldn't be able to give away this radio. So, hey, hang around and you'll see at the end of this video, I'll recognize five of those long haulers who have made this video possible. All right. Hey, thanks for watching and 73 from N4 H&H. &H.